Hi, my name is Federico Linari. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I'm 26 years old and started playing the harmonica when I was uh, 13. My first encounter with the instrument was kind of by chance because I was at a friend's house that plays uh, the saxophone and uh, he had also a harmonica so I tried to play and I loved the sound uh, and just the next day I went to a music shop and w bought one for me. So um, at first I started playing by myself. I wanted to play all these uh, blues and rock uh, licks. I, I liked it from the music I listened and that's how I figured out to, how to bend a note. So about regarding my style, I have a conception of uh, jazz as a, uh, as a tool uh, that I can use to solve into very different kinds and styles of music. Uh, so actually I love to play very different styles of music from uh, jazz standards to Argentinian music and also rock and fusion and etc. But uh, I always like my music to have a, a component of improvisation so uh, that we don't really know exactly what is going to be the, the final product before we, we are going to, to play the, the song. Uh, so I think that's kind of uh, important in my music. Uh, and uh, something like this is what I try to show in my first uh, solist album called Federico Linari Grupo. After I started playing by myself, uh, I studied the instrument uh, like a blues harmonica lessons with uh, Nikos Morhan, a great blues player from Buenos Aires. And later after that, I started playing and taking uh, lessons with uh, Mariano Masolo, who uh, taught me how to play uh, the diatonic harmonica chromatically using over blows and over draws. Uh, so after that, and in order to refine my style, I took piano and harmony lessons with a pianist uh, named Guillermo Romero and I took five years jazz improvisation uh, lessons with a trumpet player Juan Cruz Durquiza, also from Buenos Aires. All of that is uh, like a great influence, but of course since I started playing with uh, overblows and overdraws, uh, Howard Libby was a great influence for me and I feel very grateful I had the, the opportunity to play and listen to, with, to him uh, and play with him several times. I had so many happy moments in my career, but maybe a key event would be when I was selected to participate in uh, the first Encuentro Argentino de Improvisación y Composición Musical. This was like a very intense week uh, of uh, 50 musicians uh, that were selected to participate, uh, taking courses with uh, great uh, masters of popular music in my country. So uh, I met a lot of very talented people there and it was like a, a great uh, inspiring and motivating moment in my career. And very shortly after that, um, I started participating in international harmonica festivals like the second, the third and the fourth uh, Seoul International Harmonica Festival in Seoul, South Korea. So my favorite uh, harmonica model is uh, Honer Crossover. Actually in the last uh, few years I had the possibility to, to test almost every diatonic harmonica available on the market and I have to say that Honer are definitely the ones that fit me the best and I love uh, Honer crossover. So uh, Honer crossover have a great tone and response that uh, allow me to, to play with uh, the precision I need and also with a, a lot of comfortability. Also with a little uh, modification of, with the offset, um, they are great uh, harmonicas to, to play with overblows and overdraws that are uh, a fundamental need in my way of playing and I would also like to stand out the great durability of the reeds since uh, uh, of my whole uh, Honer crossover uh, set. Uh, to this day, I haven't uh, broken a single reed, so that's great.
regarding my relationship with the instrument, I think it's the way I have to express uh, myself and express my music and my art. And also as a harmonica teacher, I found a way to uh, transmit this passion to uh, a lot of people, more than a hundred people, and I think that's also very cool. I teach uh, in different uh, modalities, like I have uh, all my private lessons, which I give uh, in my studio, but also uh, on distance uh, by Skype to well, many parts of the world, like Korea, Spain and, uh, and Latin America. I am part of Buenos Aires Harmonica Institute, which is a, a, a place where a lot of very good uh, teachers uh, of the instrument uh, got together and we, we teach to, to a lot of students there. I'm always trying to expand the frontiers of what can be played with diatonic harmonica. So that means that for me, I will always have a lot more to learn and a lot more to practice. And as I understand, this is not a one man's job. I also am a harmonica teacher that in order to uh, that harmonica players uh, around the world increase and the level of the instrument and the possibilities uh, get better and better. I am now um, starting uh, to produce a series of uh, an instructional uh, series video um, of uh, how to play uh, jazz standards on diatonic harmonica. Um, so that uh, should be uh, out soon. And I will uh, also like to record my second solist album very soon, hopefully. <laughs>